the first few weeks in sleeping bags. Keith is also a father to a beautiful Eva with the shabbiest cheeks ever. And let's face it, she's the real boss. Keith is also a social media king, so make sure you follow them on Merg Interior socials. But today he's here to share with us the latest from Morg Interior. So please help me welcome Keith from Morg Interiors. Good morning, everyone. Great to be here. Thank you so much for letting me present today. So uh, yes, today my topic, the topic of my presentation is called No More Sleeping Bags, and you guys will see why. So as you guys know, yes, I do have a newborn. She is turning seven months uh, this Friday, which is really awesome. Her cheeks are extremely chubby. Um, and yeah, just really, really love her the bits. But why I'm showing you a picture today, I'll, I'll tell you why shortly. So my topic, um, as I mentioned, was no more sleeping bags. And the main people that I'm trying to help today or that we're trying to speak to are people who are relocating to Melbourne, whether it be executives, um, expats, uh, anyone from UK, US, they're thinking of moving to Australia or coming back to Australia. Um, this is who I'll be talking about today. Um, so the main things I'll be talking about are relocating problems, um, how more can help and what the results, what it's going to look like. So as mentioned before, um, I'm, I'm a, I've got a, a family, a newborn, and I can't imagine if I had to relocate to a new country, which I actually have, I'm to Australia. Um, and imagine when you move to a new country, you don't have, and you're into a new home as well, you don't have any furniture, it's not set up, and you have to look for furniture to buy uh, and, you know, assemble everything as well, get it delivered. Um, but if it's your first time in Australia, you have no idea where to start. Um, if you're planning to ship furniture from your own country, it can cost quite a lot of money as well, and it can take uh, quite a bit of time and sometimes there can be delays especially now during COVID and so if you don't have furniture um, then chances are you may need to be sleeping in sleeping bags uh, which can which is the case um, according to some of the uh, networks that we work with and some of the clients that we've helped as well um, we've heard that some of them had to actually sleep in sleeping bags so um, one of the ways that we try to help them is to help them set up their property plan ahead of time and this is what we can do. So um, I wouldn't want my uh, beautiful Ava to be sleeping in a sleeping bag. So I would love someone to help me look after the whole process. And that's what we do. We plan ahead of time um, with the client to look at when are they coming, what do they need. And then we also look up the whole delivery furniture assembly process to start and decorate the whole house to turn into a home so it's ready for them to move in. So here, this is how we start. We start to look at their floor plan. We create a bit of a, a mood board of what they're looking for in the space. And this is the result of the client um, that we've done for who's not um, from overseas because we can't show some of these clients because uh, they're uh, very private. But this is a video of one of the clients that we've helped. Today is a very special day because we're here at my client's new home, uh, Farah. She is expecting twins and she hasn't had time to finish her new home. So we're going to be here doing all that work so that we can surprise her when we are done. Let's get to it. So for the master bedroom, we really wanted to go for a very cozy, welcoming kind of atmosphere. So we went for darker tones in this room, which will just make mom and dad feel at ease when they walk into this room, especially when they're invited by these gorgeous cushions. It just feels super cozy and relaxing so they can put their heads down and go to bed after a long day with the twins. For Farah's twins that are arriving in two months time, we wanted to put together a nursery that was somewhat neutral as she had suggested she wanted something quite neutral because she will be bringing in her own photographs of her new babies and her own family as well so hanging things like this on the wall means that you do have um, a lot more room to add photographs on this wall if you want to do an art gallery or something like that um, and then we went for the rocking chair so she can comfortably nurse her newborns and um, have a little blanket of course to throw over her and then on the floor we decided to go for this beautiful rug it just kind of breaks up the space and creates a new section within the room 
Ahmed is about to become a brother in two months' time. So we wanted him to feel that he's got a few friends. And by doing that, we wanted to bring in some animation, some animals. And we've brought in the friendly lion um, a few times within this room. And we've brought in the koala bear as well. So he will love to come to bed at night and have his favorite book read to him, which is, you're a big brother. <laughs> Hi. <gasps> wow, go on. I love it. You love it? <laughs> oh my god, it's so pretty. I feel like I'm in a different home. <laughs> wow! Like look! Wow! <laughs> my god! Is this the same house you've given them? Yeah. It's it's incredible. It's incredible. I love it. <laughs> I can't pick something that is like wrong with it. It's beautiful. Yeah, for a small house, it. you did an amazing. Yeah, job. like I efficiency, everything. I could. I I didn't expect it to be honest. <laughs> I didn't expect it at all. Oh my god. I love Thank it. You Thank you so Thank much. You. Yeah, so um, that was Farah and her beautiful family. She's now um, had her twins and she's still so happy. Every now and then she still messages us asking for tips and advice on how to decorate a home um, to what it was before, as you guys can see in the video. Um, so that's the result of what Robin had to say when he helped uh, her client who came from the UK. And, um, and they were just absolutely in love with their new home and um, they could move in like literally the next day when they arrive in Australia. So. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions or like to find out more how we can work uh, with anyone planning to relocate to Melbourne, uh, DM to give Keith a call. Thank you.